Welcome once again to an episode of It Happened in a Blue City. I want you to see the disrespect right. Man, what the fuck, man? Get back on King Day. Get back. Bruce Lee looking up, boy. On King Day, your ass are like Bruce Lee, shorty. Stop playing me, shorty. Before I do that to your ass. Hey, who was you pushing? Who was you pushing? Stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. Before I smack your goof ass. In New York City, where this took place, according to Zeke Akram, where I took this, it's called the de Blasio effect. And it's happening on a daily basis. These perps think that it's funny to go up to cops and antagonize them for social media. The cops, of course, are unable to respond because if they do, they will be the ones to get in trouble. This is harassment. This is disrespect. If the races were reversed, Black Lives Matter and the Democrats would be all over it, explaining to you how blacks are victims once again. This is ruining blue cities, blue states, and the nation as a whole. You merely replace the district attorney, as Soros did in New York, in Philadelphia, in San Francisco, in Los Angeles. He basically made an arbitrage play because he recognized the importance of a district attorney in terms of holding the fabric of society together and replaced New York City with Alvin Bragg, who promised to go after Donald Trump, is concocting every known mechanism in order to indict him, of course, using laws that are concocted and wet and a crime that's well past the statute of limitations. But this is where he's placing his focus. And meanwhile, he's releasing violent criminals, felonies as it would be, and he's reducing it down to misdemeanors and releasing them without bail. So what's he going to do to somebody that approaches a cop and the cop arrests him, puts him in jail. All that's going to be happened is that Kai's going to be out the next day. All charges are going to be dropped. So society is fragmenting based on this incentive that is being offered by these communist Marxist district attorneys. And that is destroying the fabric that held the United States together. That if you behaved in such a disrespectful manner, that there would be consequences. But now you can feel free to go up to a cop and tell him off, to point your finger in his face in such a horrific manner. Of course, guess who's able to get away with it? What race of people get to get away with it? The chosen people, the chosen ones. I want to be able to judge people based on the content of their character. I adhere to the ethos of Martin Luther King. It is very sad for me that America has gotten to this point. So congratulations, you're destroyed New York City, one of the greatest cities that mankind has ever known. And it is based off of politics, it is being done intentionally. You have to vote out people like Alvin Bragg that only have their careers in the forefront of their mind and destroying civilization, which I honestly believe are some of these people's motives because you cannot continue to see the results of the experiment that you're running and continue to go and repeat the experiment time and time again, because that is the definition of insanity. And if it's not insanity, then it is being done intentionally. And that's what you have on all in all the blue cities of America today. The fracturing of the American psyche at the behest of George Soros and these far left Democrats who found an arbitrage opportunity and were able to insert district attorneys that tear the law down and with it, the fabric of society.